everybody Ann here, just sitting here having my coffee inside the tiny house. It's bright and early in the morning, and it's chilly, and I got my new jammies on. Look, huh? I love these jammies. They're so comfortable, and I only have one layer on, but it was still kind of cold last night. I didn't have to wear the hoodie, so I put this on, and this was great to sleep in last night. It felt so comfortable, so thank you so much, Lori, for sending this. I just love it, love it, love it. And these jammies, oh my goodness. And check out, check out that lap blanket. The colors are perfect. I don't know if you can see the little uh, smiley face pillow, but the colors match with the pillows and the other scheme in my comforter and whatnot, and the gray, and then there's yellow that matches with the pillow over there. So that is wonderful too. And that afghan is so comfortable it is so soft anyhow i'm gonna finish my uh coffee go check the chickens and then uh figure out what else i need to do oh i'm gonna make some breakfast too well it's actually probably gonna end up be more like lunch i'm gonna have some eggs and i'm gonna try some of that steak sauce on them oh that's gonna be delicious i'm gonna crack open that gargantuan brown egg and see how many yolks it's just like christmas anyhow let's get going See all this coming up? All this grass, it still has seeds on it. The chickens really love to lay around in it. I am thinking of going around and maybe chopping some of this down and putting it in the chicken run because I want the seeds to actually sprout and grow, cover the ground and give the chickens something to eat. Yeah, two of them flew out of the coop today so I ended up just letting all of them out. If one chicken gets out, they all are basically going to get out eventually. So I'd rather have them all sticking together. I made a thing. Yep. That uh, little shelter thingy that was over the rocket stove, uh, the top was all tore off. So I just took it off. And I just put this tarp on it. I know it's going to probably flap around and get destroyed too. But um, it gets really hot out here. And so I put it this way, just attached it here and there. And yeah, I used those little twisty tie things because I didn't want to use zip ties because I'm likely to remove this tarp and put something else over the top of it because I don't like the look of a blue tarp that you can see from the street. I just don't like it at all. So I'll change that. And I secured it a little bit lower on this side because the late in the day sun is shining right in this area. So I wanted to give them a little bit of, you know, shaded area for when it starts getting really hot. And then I just kind of, you know, hooked it together here so they can have a nice little place to sit under in the shade, which is nice. So the next thing I need to find out is if I can incorporate any of that. See, yeah, that's the other stuff I tried. I tried this chart too. Um, and none of it really worked. It, 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 it looked even worse than this. <laughs> but uh, that chicken wire, I don't know if there is a way I can attach it. I know I can attach it to this, okay? You know, put some here, put some there, here, here, and maybe from here to over there, and maybe get a pole or something in between so it won't dip down. I don't know. Uh... The real question is, how are we going to do all this area? I don't even know if I have enough of that chicken wire, so I'm going to think on this. I may not get this done today. I just don't want to start cutting up a bunch of chicken wire unless I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? But I do think the chickens will like that. This is what it looks like from this angle. I'm just sitting in the shade right now because it's actually really warming up. Um, yeah, that blue tarp is going to have to go eventually. Oh, and I can raise those legs up you know, all the way. Um, it will take more chicken wire to get to get it up higher, but um, I mean, the chickens don't need it to be any higher than that. Uh, so, I don't know. I am going to have to figure out what I can do with this and how to do it. it shouldn't be too hard, right? So I'm just sitting out here in the queen's chair. Yep, I've resurrected the queen's chair with Papa just kind of lounging behind me, looking around. Um, I'm just gonna think on this because I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin any valuable materials. Um, I do want like a green or a camouflage tarp to go over that 
doesn't have to be expensive. I think, I think I can get them at Walmart for about 10 bucks. So, um, I'm going to get that for the top of it. And then I'm going to find a way to enclose this chicken yard because I don't want the chickens to free range like they are right now all the time because they're going over next door. They're getting up on their porch. They're pooping all over the place, but they're also going further. They keep going a little bit further each day and, um, they've, almost been in the other neighbor's yard and they have a bunch of dogs that run loose in there. They, people say they're mean. Um, they've never been mean to me, but they may be mean to chickens. So I think that I'm going to only let them free range after I get this all set up um, when I'm watching them. You know, when I'm there to watch them and discourage them from going all that way, kind of hurt them away from their, that area. At least until I can get a fence that lines the entirety of my property, basically, on that side. Um, anyhow, I am just so tired. I have not been sleeping well, but I think that I'm going to start sleeping well now. That I know that... Um, oh, Papa, I forgot to tell you. I'm just rambling and I didn't even tell you uh, what happened yesterday. Okay, so yesterday, they drew his blood, took x-rays... Uh, we won't get the, the blood results until today or tomorrow. Um, and that'll kind of tell us, you know, how well he's doing and if he's healthy enough to be able to do the treatment. Um, his x-ray showed some inflammation, which is, she said, that's to be expected because of the process of the um, heartworms. That's just what they do, kind of like bronchitis, you know what I mean? And I says, well, I've got a wood-burning stove. Um, you know, could that aggravate and she says no um if he starts experiencing symptoms like if he starts coughing or wheezing or anything like that then i need to worry he's not doing anything like that he doesn't even act like a sick dog now that he's all full of food and whatnot his heart sounded good so that all that was good so next thursday fingers crossed he starts his first shot now the first shot he doesn't have to stay overnight um, just one shot. He doesn't have to have another shot 24 hours after that. One shot, four weeks after that, he gets two more shots. He will stay the night. Um, I drop him off in the morning. I pick him up the next morning after they give him the shot. And then a month after that, I think one or two more shots, and that's that. Um, and yes, for the entire time that he's going through it, and four weeks after his last shot, he has to be calm. Um, I've been trying to kind of get him to go on the lead, you know, just the long one. He doesn't like it. He's, he's terrified of it. So I'm just going to have to take him out on a leash and walk him around so he can do his business. Um, he's not going to like it because he likes to roam free, but it's not going to be forever. Uh, now the other dog that, um, Dawn and Andy picked up, she's doing great. Um, she's playing around. People are loving on her. Um, and any updates, just check out uh, Country Girls channel. She'll give you updates on the dog um, and how she's doing and um, that sort of stuff. But that's a that's a big relief. That's a big relief. So, gosh, I'm just so tired. I think I'm going to go take a nap. Lunchtime. Yeah, I overcooked my eggs a little bit. I got some of that steak sauce on it that they sent me, uh, that Washington Prepper sent me yesterday. I'm going to try this out on eggs. What are you doing, Romeo? Mmm. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, this is better. This is so much better than just plain old ketchup. Mmm. That has a really good flavor. Mmm. -mm -mm. Thank you, Washington Prepper. Breakfast or lunch of champions. Mm. I am so relaxed right now. Just watching my papa. Watching all my chickens free ranging on my land. If they would stay on my land, then it wouldn't be an issue. But I don't know how I can prevent them from straying next door. They sure do love hunting, pecking around. I bet you that's Patsy over there all by herself. <laughs> yep, they're great chickens. Looks like Papa found himself a bone. I don't know where it came from. Pulled it out of the woods. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. He's loving it. That's my happy face. Yep, that's my happy face. I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.